very young crowd here, 35% of the audience is under 16, so uh, they're looking for a little bit of leadership and uh, we've used the bands as the teams have run out in terms of you know, getting the crowd going, getting some excitement, and that's vital because it actually gives the team a real lift. <laughs> Uh, we've also uh, took uh, uh, Rendezvous Project abroad of us, <laughs> in the sense of speaking, an away match at Colchester United last year, where uh, we had the drummers in amongst the crowd, got the crowd going and ruled us on for tremendous 3-0 victory, so uh, made a big, big difference. <laughs> achievements of the project have been the fact that we've brought two really important cultural organisations together in Milton Keynes for the good of Milton Keynes as a whole. Family Day. We had um, we had three workshops with Blocko Fogo, and, uh, and and a lot of people were coming up and they were saying, "What are we going to be doing? You know, after this, are we going to be carrying on the project? Are we going to be doing some more drumming? Are we going to be doing any singing?" And, and they just they really want to do things now for themselves. I think it's been brilliant having all the bands along, but now I think the supporters really want to do things for themselves. before the game at half time but also during as well I think people want to make more noise they want to get involved with the game and it's the real sort of link to the players Not only do we have a broad young demographic, we have people of all backgrounds, uh, we have uh, one of the highest proportion of female supporters. Uh, Milton Keynes is a very cosmopolitan uh, uh, place to live. So actually, you know, we're creating an identity, we're creating a, something special for the football team. And uh, being proud of Milton Keynes is what we want these people to think about. And actually having Rendezvous Project involved with that, with all its different uh, cultural backgrounds, makes it really, really special. <laughs> I'd really like to see the project progress with a bit of a legacy of more music at sporting events. Uh, there's a bit of a history of music being part of sporting events and things like community singing. It'd be really nice to, to kind of help bring a little bit of that tradition back.